You're on tune to nice up TV. Bless up yourself. Out here to our reggae online. All right, check, check one, two. Here we are, Dub Camp. I'm Hawkeye with Nice Up TV. Got the one I meet tree here from Counter Action Sounds. He just played earlier on tonight. Um, yeah, man. How'd you enjoy Dub Camp and your set? I mean, greetings each and every one. And um, I think it's a really special event and it's a rare opportunity to experience what we call sound system culture in general. And I think in terms of conditions and location, there's not a long a lot that you can fault. Um, and it's not, it's, you know, for many countries in this world, it's very difficult to do such a thing outside and have the weather supporting you and also the locals. And we are right now way past midnight and the sounds are still going really heavy. And that is something not to be taken for granted. And I travel a lot around this side of the world and there's a lot of people trying stuff, but you know, these guys have managed to do something which is very, very difficult in terms of, you know, the, 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 the general kind of attitude of, of the more, you know, health and safety side of things <laughs> in this world. It couldn't be more different than, you know, the sound man attitude. So being able to then also get paid to come over and represent, you know, my side of the, you know, the, the genre and, and, and be here on sound system that's traveled from France, um, Roots Meditation earlier, and, and be in an arena called Outer National, featuring various acts from Sweden to, to uh, you know, myself and, and British acts and local acts. And, you know, that is, that is something very special, I think, and many festivals around, but sound system culture-wise, there's not many, you know? Yes, indeed, it's a very special thing. Uh, I'm feeling blessed to be here and meeting all the artists and so many sound system enthusiasts, you know, from all over Europe and all over the world. And um, yourself, you run Counteraction Sound along with some other people, I believe. Um, would you like to touch on that and um, a little bit, yeah, what you've done in the past, what you've got coming up? Sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm currently and have been based in Leicester in the UK in the Midlands for a few years, um, which is also the home of a few different artists like Jamania, um, Echo Ranks, uh, Madhu Messenger, um, Parvez, and uh, a, a, a outfit called Vibronics and a label called Scoops. And uh, through my radio work as a student in Leicester, I interviewed Vibronics and Steve alongside Richie Roots, who is one of the founding members came along and through uh, various circumstances I ended up living right next door to them. Yeah. Richie was on some time off where he's just had his kid and he's raising her and he's taking some time off but he's itching to play music. I'm a drummer, Richie was a bassist. So I was look mate, there's a studio around the corner. Anytime you want to come, come over. And I recorded a lot of that and before we knew it we'd had hundreds of rhythms. Right. And so that was sort of the birth of Counteraction Sounds. Richie and I kind of run it together and um, we had a run of, of vinyl and uh, eventually Richie through uh, uh, sort of medical reasons ended up passing away a few years ago uh, five years in fact and we're sort of still coping with our vibe and you know contraction still continues in its own vein and um, yeah we're based in Leicester where we support vinyl we also deal in a digital side of things and more and more these days um, our fans have gone towards promotion which we will talk about in a bit so you know I find myself as a full-time musician doing various different things alongside music you know to make it all work and and sometimes the funds go from one side to the next you know <laughs> that's how it is um, it's very fluid um, but yeah it's a very vibrant scene which is also troubled by it being quite underground now and we have a situation in the UK where we have many many different acts and sound systems not able to get us you know a slice of the promotions that are going on and basically too much sound not that many people attending dances um, which is a very paradoxical place to be because there's such history as well and being in France in a place with multiple thousands of people it's it's the contrast is pretty intense you know um, and obviously a lot of the side is UK in terms of representation but obviously great sounds like OBF tonight and 
you know, other great sounds like Backward Jungle tomorrow are about, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, obviously you got a, a lot of knowledge. <laughs> uh, would you just like to touch upon maybe some sounds that influence you and, uh, and your productions that you've been involved with as well? Sure. Um, I kind of, again, on the terms of doing various things to survive musically, I work as a session musician, so I'm a percussionist, and there's a lot of different releases on various different labels where I, I will play pingy drum and do various arrangements. Uh, I'm a singer, so again, there's various different labels. Currently, uh, the latest release is with the, drip, with the, the label out of Nottingham called Dreadwise Music. Um, Rodigan just played it on one extra last Sunday, um, and it's kind of a slow, deep roots. Um, uh, there's also a released by a, a label called Baba Boom Hi-Fi, which is also a sound system out of Napoli, Italy, and L16 is on the A side, I have the B side, and some stuff with Jeffrey. Um, but, you know, different different productions and mixes as well happen along the line, um, and, and um, it's all kind of part of a general musical kind of existence, you know? Um, yeah, I've lost the trail of thought. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, all the sound things, you know, sound system with your producer, uh, whether you're building uh, the sound boxes or you're selecting, you know, it's all a hard road, you know, and there's, uh, you know, we, we have to do other things to supplement, Absolutely. you know, what we do, you know, some of us, you know, do gardening or horticulture or building or whatever it is it doesn't matter you know like but this is one aspect of our life and we're all very passionate about it yeah. um would you like to touch on the united uh, nations of dub yeah. the weekend sure. uh, the big festivals that you have uh, i follow it online and um I'm very jealous that so many artists get to come and play and uh, I've seen the video footage, it looks like a mad party and nice vibes, for sure. Yeah, so you know, it kind of progressed from being a radio show in Leicester um, on an FM station called Demon FM, which is De Montfort University. And um, through that, we also started doing some club nights involving some of our favorite sound systems. And through the help of Vibronics, we started bringing people like Jatabis and King Earthquake and Haital Boja and Aration Steppers. Um, Abashanti happens to be one of the sounds that is half Leicester, not a lot of people know, but a lot of the sound box man and a lot of the sound itself comes from Leicester, so we get them quite regularly as well. And um, there is also another night in Leicester called Contact with a K. And um, Felix used to put on these different dances in the dubstep days and from there progressed into the UK dub thing. And naturally we started discussing about coming together to put something bigger on. We booked this venue in Birmingham and we were going to do this nine sound system dance with two different rooms, book half the road, put it under this arch, there's this, this venue called the Rainbow in, in, in Birmingham. And long story short, they had some house event that ended up, ended up elbowing us out of the way, but we still had that date and we had started talking to all the sounds so we decided to do this crazy thing which is to emulate what we we call the northern soul weekenders here in the uk which happens from the 60s they would use you know working class holiday parks um, as event venues and hire them exclusively over three days and put on you know their own djs and Talcum part of the floors or whatever Northern Soul does, you know, all those kinds of things. And that progressed into various other weekenders. I can remember in the early 2000s in England, there was a lot of parties that involved live electronics and electronic music and a lot of the big labels in that respect did that. So we thought nobody's ever done that for sound system. And furthermore, there's all these big festivals in, in Europe you know, like Ratatom or Garants or festivals that put on massive big stages with, you know, for sound system audiences, but in much bigger terms. But we didn't, and, and a lot of those, just like here, involved UK artists, but we didn't really have that in England. So there was a reggae festival and, and that involved more bands and with noise restrictions and that, you know, and also because it's so a, f a full up sort of season in the UK, there's so many great festivals that are, you know, no need to mention. And so the idea of hiring a park off season 
meant tickets are very cheap. So we suddenly became very attractive to an international audience. And long story short, United Nations Adobe became the name for this event. And, um, and it involves as many sound systems as we can from across Europe. This year we had about 19 from Italy, from France, from Ireland, and we also had a whole room dedicated to 12 volt sound systems, which is hand built sound systems on bicycles or on wheels or just on back of cars, you know. So it's an incredible experience and people like yourself travel from all across the world and invest their time and money to be part of it because they get a slice of a scene in one place concentrated because it's quite a big park we were able to accommodate all the artists and their crews for the entire three days if they wanted to so a lot of the artists and even bigger sound men that you don't generally get to mix with like Shaka have been there and a lot of different patch-ups have happened between relationships and sound men in those terms because they are all in one place in a very kind of multicultural multinational environment and it's a very special in you know environment um, You've been watching Nice Up TV. Rewind and come again.